We're going to get straight to the first grade one of the day, though, the JCB Triumph Hurdle for the four-year-olds. And at the top of the market, many people's banker, it's Sir Eric, 6-5, to five. Keldestan, 7-1, to one. stablemate Peak Dory, who we've not seen in this country, is 10-1, to one. so too Tiger. Tap, tap. I mentioned bankers earlier to you, yeah. I put Paisley Park in that bracket, is this one? I think this is the this is the banker. Altior excluded. This is the banker. I I think this was singularly impressive. This jump at the last here, um, I said straight away afterwards to some guys standing next to me. That's like Istabrak to me. So quick, and that's after making all the running. And these are supposedly the best um, juvenile hurdlers in Ireland, of which. I think they are already better than the juvenile hurdlers in England. But, you know, it's a, this is a 109, I think he was on the flat, third to Stradivarius. Yeah. Not many of them do that now, but look at that. It's just so exhilarating, that jump. He's top class. He, yeah, he'd be a runner in a champion hurdle. I think he's, he's phenomenal. Anything to go against Sir Eric? Well, just his price, isn't it? That's the only, that's the only difficult thing. Like Dave said, he was third to Stradivarius at Ascot on Champions Day. Very few horses go over hurdles these days with that sort of flat form. He could um, run for millions in the I Melbourne think, Cup, surely. I must admit, I think he probably should be shorter. Yeah, so um, right. For the simple reason that, like, Fakir Dudari is likely to go for the Supreme. He's already um, beaten Gardens of Babylon very easily. He's already beaten Gordon Elliott's Philly uh, very easily as well. And there's not that much. I mean, traditionally, the Triumph isn't a race that takes a, a huge amount of winning necessarily anyway. He mm. does look to have that top class potential based on his flat form and ability as well as the way that he's taken to hurdling. I agree with the comments about the, the British juveniles and the best of them. Um, Fusil Raffles is, is, is ruled out of the race yeah. as well. So it's kind of fallen apart around him. I expect he will go off a, a strong odds on favourite. We have got Kel Destan in there though for the 10 times champion trainer Paul Nichols, who just keeps on winning. He took the juvenile finale, the grade one at Chepstow. He's got bags of experience, this horse. Uh, he would be the first horse. I've been accused of putting too many stats in earlier, but it would be the first <laughs> horse to win the Victor Ladorum and the Triumph Hurdle in about 50 years together in the same season, Dave. Yeah, I mean, he's a thoroughly likeable horse. Uh, he's won his last five, including uh, that finale junior hurdle at, at Chepstow. He beat uh, Ajali that day. Again, another horse about whom Nicky Henderson has been much more positive uh, over the last few days. He's thoroughly likeable. He sticks his head down as, and he tries. Uh, will he finish in front of Sir Eric? Very unlikely, I would say, but he does. You know, he's, he's most of what you look for in a racehorse, isn't he? Do you think Nichols will run Peak Dory, the French horse? I mean, it wouldn't be oh. unlike him to deliver one first time up from France at the festival. Diego de Charmille, uh, I don't know if he'd had a run, but Sanctuaire had had one run. Or Petit Swan won a Coral Cup first time up in Britain. I, I think if um, Paul Nichols thinks he's good enough to go there without a run, I don't know whether it's been because of problems or be by design, uh, given the form that he's in at the moment and, you know, the past history of doing it you've got to take him at his word it must have a cracking chance but it's still we don't know quite right over here we just don't know and we've got he's got a really really good one to beat right unanimous sir eric yeah nice and simple six to five sir eric for joseph o'brien uh, is the market leader for the triumph hurdle